Hello guys, so welcome back to our second lesson of VHDL. So in the first lesson, we explored, you know, uh, or highlighted how to download a model sim, you know, how to make a very simple simulation for a very simple design like an end gate, okay? Now we're gonna learn another important skill, very important actually, in VHDL learning, in which how to create a package out of your designs in, so that you can use them in the future. Just like programming languages, you might uh, make a program like, for example, a program that add two numbers together, a very fun very small function that adds two numbers together, okay? Then later uh, in the future, you may create a bigger design, like for example, for a calculator, and you need this function of adding. So. In, at that time, instead of doing that from scratch again, you just include the file that contains your uh, adding function into your bigger design, okay? Uh, so we have very uh, something very similar here in, in VHDL, okay? So basically you can create a library in which you put your older design, it's a custom library, uh, then you can use, you know, packages inside this, which is functions, inside these libraries in future design. And most of our designs are actually heretical. I mean, you have a bigger design that composed of very small, des smaller designs. So in a team, each one take one or two of these small designs. And then the, uh, the leader of the team, you know, just gathers these uh, you know, uh, smaller designs and connect them together in a hierarchical way to create a bigger design, okay? So uh, let's assume that the end gate that we created, you know, we're gonna, make, we're gonna use it a lot in the future in other design designs. So how to create a package uh, or uh, how to create a library first and add this package into it and create a package out of this design and as is packaged into uh, our library, custom library, okay? So you have uh, first, the first step here is to create basically the package, okay? And for that, I have here the file for it. So here is, uh, you know, how to write it, how to write uh, a file that will create a package for you. So basically what we do, okay? Uh, we first define, you know, that this would be a package and they give it a name. And usually it's a good practice to, you can name it whatever. You can name here, you can put here, for example, you know, Jack, for example, okay? Uh, but a good practice is to name it with the same design, which is an AND gate. Look, AND gate here, the same name. Then you underscore, you, you put underscore or, you know, some something to differentiate between both and put the word package so that we, you knew that this is uh, the package for the end gate, okay? Then you put here, you know, the prototype, as we said, the entity of the end gate, this bar here, just to copy and paste, but just to put this name called component, okay? Then end, uh, end, end this, uh, in this package name, okay? That's it, then you compile, Successful. Now it's the time to create a library, okay? And add our package to into it, okay? Basically, one thing here to note is that once you create a library, okay, you just want to add the packages into it. Don't create it again. Also here for the sake of, uh, you know, uh, for illustration, I already have a library, okay? Uh, and I will just, you know, use it again. So to create a library, you just take up, you just issue this command here. So we have here in this in this window, this is a command line window for model sim. So you put this command vlib. Then you put here whatever name for your library. So you want to create a custom library. I call it I call it digital command. It's already there by the way. So if I just hit enter, he will notify me that you are already exist. It's already existing existed. Okay. But you know, this will not uh, this will not hurt. It doesn't it doesn't uh, doesn't harm anything. So just for sake of illustration, I'm just created, creating it again for you. Okay. 
The second one is to create a second command basically <coughs> is to create <coughs> a directory on your computer and this directory or folder will just contain all the packages that you drop in that or you dump in that digital component library. And a good practice as well is to name the folder uh, with the same name as the, uh, the library that you created. So when you just log into the folder in your computer and see this folder, oh, you know that this folder is corresponding to the library that you created sometime in the past, okay? The third step that you will, so this, these two steps, these two command, you just do one time for the same project, okay? In the future, you just do the third command that I will do with you, with you now, which is this one. So copy and paste. Here is the command that you're gonna do in the future, okay? So this is basically what we add this package into digital component library that you created, okay? So the first two are, are just, a bit, a, you, did, you did them, you do them one time, okay? The third one, you know, uh, whenever you create a package, you just do the third one. Don't do the first two uh, commands again. So basically in that, in that command here, we are telling model sim to add this package, this one here, into this, uh, like, okay, you just hit enter, okay. Now, if we go to library, you see this, this all the library that we have, okay. So look, we have, uh, if you just hit D, just assuming that you didn't do that before, just hit D, it will go to the section that, uh, with libraries that start with D. And we have only one that we created, which is digital library. So this is your component, I'm sorry. So if we, uh, you know, expand it, you're gonna see that this is our package. Okay. Now let's do uh, another design and add, reuse this package into it. Okay. Our new design is also trivial. So our new design is actually, you know, an end gate then the output of this end gate will go to an inverter. Very simple one, okay? So you can just do that from scratch. And since you do the end gate before, you can just use uh, the design of the end, okay, into your new design here, okay? So we, ha we have now a new box, new design. This design has two inputs, let's call them A and B and one output, okay? What's inside this box is two gates, the AND gate and an inverter, and the inverter is in the output. So the inputs go to the AND gate, the output of the AND gate goes to the inverter, and the output of the, of the inverter is actually the output of the box, of the design, okay? Of course, you can do this, is very, you know, trivial design, you can say. You can do it from scratch, but just for illustration, we're gonna use the package that we created for the end gate. And you need only to implement the node uh, afterwards. And here is how you do it, okay? This is a library for relatively, you know, for some of the stuff that you have, especially standard logic. We explained this last time. And here is how you do what you, what you should do to include, you know, the package that you created, which is for the end gate. First, you, you, you define the library for digital components then you, you use one of the packages there, which is and the gate package, okay? Then you, then you start the entity, just as, you know, uh, you, what you did, uh, you know, and the gate, very similar stuff, you have a box, two inputs, one output. And of course, I, I named it NAND. NAND is actually not AND, because the output of the AND is, is inverted. Then we get the output. So I called it NAND. And NAND actually is a, is, a, is a logic gate that we're gonna study in the future in our course. Okay. Then in the architecture now, okay, uh, we're gonna do something uh, that really that uses that that makes no sense to use this package. First, I'm gonna define a signal here. And as I said before, signal is just something internal inside the design. So it's something. So it's input or output, okay? 
or just leave, leave, leave this for a second. Then you instantiate the end gate. This is how we use how this is how you use uh, what you included in the, from the library, which is the end gate. Okay. So basically, you put here any. Uh, this is just a line definition. Uh, defi uh, definition. You know, you can just put uh, online label. You know, you can just put anything here. Uh, you know, name it whatever. Okay. It's in a column. Then here is the important stuff. Here is you put the end gate. Okay. Then uh, port map because when you use a black box, you should connect it to, to, to the surrounding. So this black box that we have, which is the end gate, it's two inputs are actually A and B, the same inputs of the, uh, the new design. And it's output. I'm sorry, the output of this end gate Okay, is now as an internal, you know, internal signal in the in new box, which is called the end gate. This new design here, which, are, which I'm calling the end gate. Okay, so what is the relation now be, between Y, the output of the design, the new design, and the output of the end gate? So Y is actually not of this one, Y1. Okay, that's why I call it Y1, because you know, it's just Y, but inverted. Okay, so the output of this uh, box, which is our package, and will be inverted and assigned to the, uh, the output of the whole box of the, of the design. Okay, guys, so we can also, you know, uh, combine that. Okay, guys. So I will leave the test bench for you as a homework. It could be easy, it should be very similar, very similar to the end gate test bench that we tested before. Also, there will be variations because you are simulating now another design. Okay, so some something here, you know, some of some of the stuff here will be changed, and it will be great for your responsibility or your homework to see what kind of changes that we have. Also, you should simulate it, simulate this new design. And of course, the simulation should be different, should be complete, basically, of, the, of what we said, of what we uh, have seen from the end gate. Okay. Because zero and zero now is equal to one. Because zero and zero is end is equal to zero, but when we invert it, it will be one. Okay, guys. So I hope this was useful for you. And I'm sure we're going to use this in the future a lot of times. Uh, to you know in our course so thank you very much and have a great day